I'm back and better than ever. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I just wanted to do something super simple. I don't know, I felt that for my first videos I should try to like, I don't know, test the water a little bit. I am by no means a beauty expert but I definitely like to indulge a bit, of course. So today, so if I keep looking over here, it's because I have my makeup kit with me, and that's basically what this uh, video is going to be about. Um, I'm just gonna show uh, what my current makeup collection is, and uh, just kind of walk you through what I have and why I have it, um, and just go from there. So this is basically, uh, this is my makeup kit. I don't know if you can see it. It's uh, just a like, a chrome basket that I keep in my bathroom on top of my uh, storage shelves. And uh, this is by no means like my perfect makeup storage, but you know, it's I'm working with what I have. So for now, everything just fits perfectly in this uh, basket. So I don't have a lot of products because I'm just not a product junkie. Though like watching these YouTubers makes me want to like go and buy everything. I even have a uh, Pinterest board dedicated to all my like new beauty buys. So I actually have a lot of uh, things in here that are like near near done. So I'm pretty excited that I'll be able to use my actual list on Pinterest of my beauty buys. Anywho, uh, yeah, this is what I have, and it's uh, very small and it's precious and I'm actually over it and I just want new things, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Anywho, I'm gonna start off with, um, let's start off with this bin. So inside this uh, chrome basket, I have this like square, like uh, it's an organizer. I got it from Ikea, it came in like a set of six or eight and it just goes in drawers, but I had these leftovers, so I used it in here. And uh, I just have this like little plastic bin on top for um, things that I want to uh, just grab. Um, so inside of there, if you can see it, it's pretty gross, but I just have to keep like my samples from Sephora. I also have a palette that I created at MAC. I love it. I never really use it, but it's a, a nice quad that, I mean, it has all the colors I need to have just in my natural makeup look. Um, and then I have a few others left over. Uh, I'm gonna call it all that glitters. And I have just some um, crease color. You don't need to see this. It's just a dark brown. Um, this one is called Antique. It's a really pretty coppery brown. Uh, really, really pretty. Um, and then this one is just like a nice like uh, lid color. It's called Texture. It's a little sheer. Has like a little bit of a glimmer or shimmer to it. And then I have. This one, brown script. So it's just also a nice base color. This looks good underneath the antique. Um, so as you can tell, I like kind of like browns and coppers and those like tan colors. I don't really go crazy. I used to wear crazy eyeshadow in uh, high school. So I don't know, maybe I'll go back. But if I do, maybe I'll just like, it'll be my YouTube fun. Maybe I'll just try on some new eyeshadows uh, just for you guys. Next up, I have this. Uh, very important thing, which is just my makeup bag. So this is what's portable. This is what comes to me when I travel. Um, so I just, now it's actual storage. Um, but when I do travel, I take it out and actually place in the things that I really need. But for the most part, it houses all of my lipsticks. I have a good, uh, I don't know, 10, 12 lipsticks and <laughs> they're all from MAC. I've decided that I definitely need to, um, branch out, try some new lipsticks. I'm just I'm just the type of person, like if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But anywho, um, I have this one that I like. It's called Fetish. It's just like a bronzy color. It's just so cute. Um, I have Ruby Woo. I've been wearing this since I was like 17, 16, 17 years old. Just look, I mean, I'm pretty sure all you guys know about Ruby Woo. Just clap, like it's literally down to the nub. Like, that's crazy. Uh, I have Verve, I always call it Verve, I think it's called Verve. Um, oh, this is my uh, latest one, it's called Antique Velvet, it's really nice, Ooh, this is gross, it needs to be cleaned, um, but it's just like a nice chocolatey brown, it's just, I get so many compliments when I wear that. 
Um, I have mocha, which is like a new color. It has like a slight peachy pink undertone uh, touch, which, ooh, oh, this is the one that's gonna be donated. There's, there's nothing, it's gone, it's done. Uh, so I'll trade that in to get a new lipstick. Uh, I have this old one from Rihanna, Talk That, talk that Talk? Yeah, just nice wine, deep wine color. And then I have Call the Hairdresser. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's a like pinky color. Um, and then I have All Fired Up. <gasps> Guys, it came over here. Oh my, I wonder if that means I need to get a new one. I mean, it's not that old. I, pro I got, look, it's like new. I got this definitely earlier this year. I don't know why, because I don't wear hot pink lips. We're gonna put this one to the side. I'm a little sad. Uh, okay, two more. Uh, Whirl, which is what I'm wearing now. It's a nice nude color. I like, I love my nudes. Um, I'm thinking about buying that new Taraji P. Henson one. I forget what it's called um, before that sells out. <laughs> Another nude retro. Um, but this one is a little warmer, actually. But it's, it's still a nude. Um, yeah, so that's all of my lipstick. Um, and then I have a whole bunch of like eye pencils and lip pencils. They're just, I don't know, this is, oh, I'll talk about this one because this is the thing I love the best. It's uh, from Physician Formula. It's two-in-one lash boosting eyeliner and serum. I don't know, it's supposed to do something. I don't care about that, but it's just, you get like the best like little wing tip with it. Um, and I love this and it's like a nice, clicking top. It's like some kind of um, spring mechanism in there. So it's really nice. I, I paid definitely less than $10 for this. Um, so I really like this. I actually recommend this one. Next up, I have this little jar where I keep like my mascaras and my concealers, etc. I'm telling you guys, if you guys don't have these jars for everything, like you're missing out. And I have this uh, concealer that I do like. It's a Dior Skin Nude Concealer. It's just light coverage, nothing like too crazy. As you can tell, I like just natural looking makeup. I don't need to look like, you know, I don't have skin. Uh, though there definitely is a time and a place for that. <laughs> Ooh, this has ripped. It's an Aesop uh, Rose Hip Seed, Rose Hip Seed Lip Cream. Um, so I put this on my lips uh, before I put lipstick on, etc. So it's just a nice lip cream. And I love the Isa brand, it's just, it's amazing. Um, and everything smells so good. And the stores are like beautifully designed. So if you have not been to a store, just go and then go and get a whole bunch of samples. I'm a little embarrassed to show you this, but this, this jar is where I keep all my brushes. Um, they are all, they are all dirty. I need new brushes. Like um, this one I've had for so long, I, I don't even know years. It's time to it's time for it to go. Some of these are definitely new. Like these are the new Real Technique uh, bold metal brushes that I have. So they just need to be cleaned. And then I have some of their you know other brushes as well. I don't like colored brushes. That's why I haven't got their little pink and purple ones. Um, but I have some old like Mac brushes. Ugh, they're gross. I need to get new ones. Uh, so all this needs to be cleaned and I need to get new brushes. Um, next to that, I have like my beauty blender. So, well, one is a beauty blender. The other one is the Real Techniques one. And then I have eyelashes and eyelash glue. I have an old ratchet mirror, um, like that fell out of its like holder. I don't know why I haven't got rid of that because I have a new mirror, but you know, just hold on to everything. And then last but not least, I have my awesome Glossier bag. There's no Glossier products in this. I literally had, um, this was filled with their samples, like I think a coupon or something, as well as um, the, what's the little balm? That one, you know, you know which one I'm talking about. That was in here, but I love this bag so much. So apparently they sell these. I do want to try some of their products. So now that I actually have a need for it, I will definitely try it out. You saw me throw that in there. Just this needs to be recycled at Mac. Um, this I bought just I just wanted a cheap eyebrow thing, brush 
blender pomade <laughs> uh, and it doesn't work like I bought it I mean I got my money back but you can click this thing forever and it will not come up uh, so for some even though I got my money back I'm just like hard for me to throw this away for some reason I guess I can just use the brush but see I'm, I'm hoarding guys I'm hoarding um, this one I just bought also just a cheap brow thing it's what I use today for my brows it's um it's nice but you know I I've, I've come to the conclusion that I can't do drugstore brows like I really have to get like nice brow products so that's the brow stuff oh I didn't show you this this was the main this is the first thing I took out this should have been the first thing I showed you um, this is the most important stuff um, I'll show you this like so this is my uh, Dior skin nude air love this I am it's down it is down to the bottom okay I am going to get a new one there are a few. I have like two. I have the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I don't know. Um, I have that in my Pinterest board, but I think I'll get a sample. But you know, I love this. I have another one in there, but I'm like, if again, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And this is expensive. Anywho, this is gross. I've used this so much, but this is Bobby Brown. <laughs> this is Bobby Brown's. Uh, I think I talked about this before, but why I cannot get that open. It's the, what is this shit called? The Pot Rouge, and it's a little gross. I need to clean it out, but there is, a, it's Calypso Coral. I love it. It's just like a natural, can you see? Can you see that glow? It's a natural, just a, like fleshy tone. Um, so I love this. Ugh. So guys, I bought this MAC Prep Prime CC Cream. And it's supposed to be color correcting loose powder. You know, I don't like it. It makes my skin look orange and it definitely mattifies. I don't, for some reason, I don't like to put the powder on underneath my eye because it just, it looks cakey. So I don't know, am I just not supposed to put powder? Like, I need help, okay? I really need help in the powder department. I got some eye and lip primer from Shani, Shani? I like to think it's Shani like me, but uh, it's probably shiny. I don't know. It's fine. I like it. It's like, I think paraben free. Got it on Amazon for like five or six bucks. Uh, this is my dip brow. This is what I usually use, but as you can see, it's done. It's done. And then last two things, my finishing spray, which honestly, I don't really use this as a finishing spray. I use this to spray, like refresh my brushes. Uh, this is LA Girl Velvet Bronzer Contour Stick. Of course, I wanted something darker, but it wasn't dark enough. And But it, since it's bronzer, it's okay. So I definitely just, you know, I don't know if you can see that, but it's on there. It's fine. I'll use it until I can get another one. Um, but yeah, that is basically my makeup kit. I am glad that you got to see this with me and um, or go through this with me because now that I've gone through this, I'm like, okay, I need to get rid of a lot. I'm actually pretty excited because it means I can get new stuff. So I'll definitely be doing a haul type thing, but not a crazy haul because I'm just not a haul girl. I don't shop that much. <laughs> I try not to. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching. Um, let me know. Um, let me. I want to know what like you guys are using for your storage. Like, do you have like these like really crazy professional setups? Do you have like a shoe box? Do you have like a metal box like me? Like, how do you store your makeup? Like, I'm definitely curious. And if you have any organizational, organizational, organization tips, <laughs> uh, just like put it in the comments below. Let me know. I need some help. Oh, and also help me out with this crap. Like, I don't. I don't know what to do with this. Um, oh. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching, and I don't know, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, you know, as you can tell, I'm new, and I appreciate the love. Definitely subscribe, and um, leave your name in the comments so I can go through and check you out. Alrighty, bye.